Hi everyone and thank you for tuning in for today's alumni takeover session. My name is Zoe and just going to allow a couple of minutes in case um, we have extra people who'd like to join our session today. So I'll just tell you a little bit about me. Um, I graduated Griffith in 2003 with a Bachelor of Business majoring in Marketing and Sports Management. And now, fast forward 17 years, crazy to say that, um, I'm now enjoying a career working in marketing in the tourism industry, as well as running a couple of small businesses of my own, including working as a yoga teacher and also as the creator of crystal candles. So these are our crystal candles. They're a natural soy wax candle, fragranced, and in the top of them, we embed beautiful crystals in the top of the candles. So I'm just going to light this one now. Maybe you have a candle burning in your space at home today. Find candles lovely to use as part of your relaxation ritual, just providing beautiful soft lighting and if they're scented, emitting that lovely fragrance um, to spread throughout the room as you're enjoying your practice as well. So just before we begin, I ask if you haven't already, if you can please switch your phone across to Do Not Disturb. By having it on Do Not Disturb, you'll still be able to follow the session, but it just means that you're not going to be interrupted by any phone calls or messages. So allowing you to fully relax and enjoy the practice today, which is going to go for about 25 minutes or so. Also, you can practice either seated like me, sitting in your chair if you haven't been lucky enough to escape from your office, or you can practice lying down as well. If you do have any comments or questions, I just ask if you can please hold these until the end. And then what I'll do is I will allow a little bit of time at the end so that if you have any questions, you can pop those up and I'll respond to those with you at the end of the session. The focus of our practice today is about connecting with our playful nature to allow us to take a more lighthearted approach when responding to conflict or stressful situations. So let's begin. We're going to begin today just by taking three deep breaths and this is really about just letting go, centering yourself and starting to step away from the day you've had and really begin to allow yourself the me time to enjoy your proper relaxation practice. So I want you to take nice big deep breaths in when I cue you to inhale and then as you exhale think about the process of just letting go, let your shoulders drop, let your lungs completely empty. You may even like to give an audible ah breath as you breathe out, if that makes you feel good as well. So first of all, nice big deep breath in. And letting go of today's to-do list, tasks, things that you need to achieve. Nice big breath in again. Letting go of the outside world, everything that's happening outside of the room you're in doesn't matter anymore. Let it go. Finally, nice big deep breath in. And this time just letting go of any expectations or ideas of what you think this practice is going to look like today or what you think we're going to be doing. And just really softening, allowing yourself to open and be opening to receive everything that comes to you throughout your practice. So when we're happy, our body emits our four happy hormones, serotonin, oxytocin, dopamine, and endorphins. And this has some great effects on our body, including boosting our immune system, reducing stress, improving circulation, and slowing down the aging process. Yay. Part of being happy is connecting to our true nature. And our true nature is blissful, lighthearted, joyful, and playful. So today we're going to practice pranayama. Now pranayama 
is breath work and it's about using the control of the breath to improve our physical and our mental health. And following our short piece of breath practice, we're going to conduct a guided meditation together, which I'm going to read you a script while you just relax and follow the visualization in your mind. And this script is about becoming more playful. So for our pranayama breath practice, today we're going to practice lion's breath. It's a fun practice. It, it requires you to get out of your shell a little bit and be a bit adventurous. So if you are practicing with somebody else in your space, um, you might like to close your eyes. Sometimes I think that uh, when we're doing things a bit out of our comfort zone in yoga, if we close our eyes, there's that sort of mentality of you can't see me, so I can't see you sort of thing. Um, and you can practice this one lying down if you are already lying down. If you're seated, you can stay seated like this. Or I, if it's accessible to you, I would like you to move to kneeling position. And if you're in your chair, you can stay seated in your chair. So for those of you coming into kneeling with me, what we're going to do is flatten our toes, so flattening the tops of the feet, bringing the buttocks back over the heels and just sitting up nice and straight with the hands resting on the thighs. I understand kneeling may not come comfortably to everybody, so if it doesn't, feel free to modify or sit in a chair if that feels better for you. Lion's breath is a really great breath for decreasing tension and frustration and increasing confidence. So I want you to do it with power and force and meaning. Lion's breath stretches the entire face, jaw and tongue and helps to open your throat chakra, which affects our ability to communicate effectively. I will also give you an option to include a stretching of the hands and the fingers, which you're welcome to take. Um, if you've been working on your computer this morning, this might be a nice option for you to take as well. Um, it, as I said, it does feel a little bit silly and it looks a bit crazy, but this helps to remind us not to take ourselves too seriously and to have fun. So please go with it. And at the end of the practice, if you feel a big smile come across your face or you feel like laughing out loud, um, feel free to do so as well. Don't keep that bottled up inside. So I'll give you a demonstration and then I'll cue, we'll cue the practice so that we can do it together. So when we practice, we're sitting up nice and tall, shoulders down, lungs nice and open so we can breathe deeply. As we inhale, big breath in, and I like to scrunch up the face. So think about drawing in all of your angers and frustrations and anything that's irking you at the moment, squeezing that in. As you exhale, the mouth opens widely, the tongue extends and curls down as far as you can, and you're going to stretch your eyes. If you want to, you can take the gaze either to the tip of the nose or to eyebrow center. So it looks like this. And you can hear the, the out exhale is a ha audible in the throat. So you're not growling, but it's just a loud ha sound. And I do expect you to be able to hear it. So that one again. Now, if you would like to include the hands, we bring the hands up beside the shoulders into fists. So the inhale, we're clenching into fists. And again, as I said before, whilst we're doing this cleansing, we're bringing in all of our anger, our frustrations, anything that's annoying us at the moment, squeeze that in, hold it tight, and the exhale lets it go. This time we're throwing it away, extending our fingers, really outstretched, stretching the whole hands like this. So your choice, whether you would like to practice with or without the hands, we're going to take three breaths of lion's breath and I'll cue you through. Exhale to prepare, inhale, bottle up the frustration and let it go. Again, anything holding you back, keep it in and let it go. One more round. And as I said, 
not uncommon not uncommon to want to have a little giggle or a big smile across your face now at the end of lion's breath give it a little shake hopefully you feel nice and loose and free and you've just let all those worries and frustrations go so that it will make it easier for you to come into your relaxation and connect with our playfulness that's in here inside of us so as we move into the guided meditation part of our practice today, you're welcome to stay seated. If you come into cross legs, you can stay sitting on your chair or you can come down to a lying position if you prefer. And if you are lying, I just ask that you please do not cross any of your body parts. Don't cross your ankles over each other or cross your hands on your chest or your tummy, um, just so that the energy can flow nice and freely throughout your body. So meditation is about keeping the mind still whilst the body stays awake. So you're alert, but you're relaxed. And it's important that we don't fall asleep or that we at least try not to fall asleep in our relaxation and meditation. It's not about falling asleep, it's about relaxing and quietening the mind. As we quieten the mind and we let go of the constant chitter chatter of the brain that we all experience incessantly throughout our days, that quietening of the mind has great benefits to the body, including reducing stress, improving focus and rational thinking, and increasing your energy and creativity as well. So I'm going to guide you through a relaxation script, which I will be reading to you. As I read, I'd like you to focus on my words. Try not to let random thoughts pop up, but it's perfectly normal if they do. And if this happens, try and catch the thoughts, be aware of them, acknowledge them and let them go. Sometimes even saying to your thoughts, okay, I'll talk to, uh, we'll, we'll deal with that after we finish the relaxation practice. So asking you now to please be comfortable, be relaxed, closing down your eyes, making yourself comfortable with any pillows or blankets or anything else that you may need, just so you can let go. Closing your eyes, if they're not closed already, taking a nice deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out, just letting go of all thoughts, all judgments. Now, moving your attention to the sounds around you, the sounds inside the room and then the sounds outside the room. Just taking a moment to concentrate on each individual sound that you can hear. Slowly begin to shift your attention inward now, away from your surroundings and toward yourself. Focus on your body Notice how you are feeling, focusing on your physical self and making any necessary adjustments to allow you to relax further, deeper, more softening. And now just observing your body without judgment, without moving, just Observing, feeling. Focus even more intently now on your body. Become completely aware of your breathing. Observe your breaths without trying to change anything. Follow the breath as it enters the body on the inhale and leaves the body with the exhale. Inhale, body opening and expanding. Exhale, body softens and relaxes. 
Focus completely on your body moving rhythmically in time with your breath. Notice how smooth, calm and regular your breathing is. Allow the tension to leave your body with every exhalation, relaxing your muscles so that you can rest calmly, becoming more relaxed with every exhalation. And now that you are starting to become more relaxed, let's focus on becoming more playful. Everyone has the ability to be playful. Playfulness is a trait that we all have inside. But for many of us, the playfulness of our youth has been pushed aside as we live as adults, striving to be more professional, more serious, more of how society says we should behave. The ability to be playful is important because it allows you to experience fun and joy. Becoming more playful also allows you to respond to challenges with humour and lightheartedness instead of always being serious or becoming defensive. It is important to have a balance between being serious and being playful. You can use both of these qualities to handle challenging situations effectively. Becoming more playful is possible, whether you have never been very playful before, or if you used to be playful, but have lost touch with this quality. Think now about a time when you were playful. Were you playful as a child? As a teenager? As an adult? And if you can't remember a time when you were playful, that's okay. You still have a playful inner child that you can nurture. Create a mental picture of yourself when you were playful or think about positive memories of yourself as a child. Imagine your playful or childhood self creating a detailed image of this person in your mind. What did you look like? How did you behave? What was it like to be playful? How did it feel? See yourself as this playful child, imagining all the details. Now use your imagination to create a picture of ideal playfulness. Create an imaginary child who is very playful, very joyful and happy. You can picture this playful inner child however you want to see him or her in your mind. This playful child is happy and joyful ideally playful, an ideal image of playfulness that would exist if there was nothing that could get in the way of having fun and being playful.
The child you are imagining has always been inside you and still exists inside you right now. You can connect with this inner child and allow the child to express himself or herself. Think now about the things you have planned for tomorrow. Maybe you will be at home, maybe at work, or somewhere else. Think about the places you will be and the things you will do tomorrow. Now imagine that instead of being serious all day tomorrow, you allowed your playful inner child to come out. Imagine becoming more playful. Imagine what this would be like, starting at the beginning of your day. Imagine yourself going about the routines and activities of the first part of your day with playfulness. Picture the way you would behave, the things you would do, how you would feel. Imagine what it would be like to be more playful. Now, imagine the middle of your day. Imagine becoming more playful. Think about the things you would be doing and see yourself completing these activities while in touch with your playful self. How would you handle challenges? How would you respond to stress? What would you do differently from what you usually do? How would you feel? Think about the later part of your day and see yourself going about your day in a more playful way. Imagine how your day would go. Imagine becoming more playful. What was it like to imagine yourself going about your day tomorrow in a more playful way? How does it feel when you picture yourself being more playful? Now let's focus on some affirmations for becoming more playful. Think about each affirmation and if you want to, repeat each phrase in your mind. It's okay if you aren't completely comfortable with the affirmation. Just imagine that each phrase is true for you in this moment. Let's begin. I am a playful person. It's okay to be playful. I can be serious at times and playful at times. I am playful. I behave in a playful way. I am playful when confronted or when dealing with stress. Now that you have completed the affirmations, return again to your visualization of your playful inner self. 
Imagine the things that you have held yourself back from doing that your playful self would do. The things you will do when you allow yourself to be more playful. Think now about the playful things you would like to do. Imagine now your present self. And imagine this person being fully in touch with your inner playful self. Imagine becoming more playful. Think about a situation that is difficult or stressful. Perhaps a time when you are confronted by someone else. Imagine how you will handle this situation in a playful way. Non-defensive. Not needing to be completely serious. Just imagining how the scenario will go if you respond in a playful way. Now taking a few moments to just relax, simply absorbing the ideas that you have been focusing on, seeing yourself in a new light as a playful person. Now you have finished this relaxation exercise. Keeping your eyes closed, gradually begin to reawaken your mind and body by slowly turning your attention from inward to outward. Start by focusing on your breathing. Notice each breath. Feel your breaths moving in and out of your body. Now focus on how you are feeling. Just scanning your body and noticing how your body feels. Turning your attention to the environment outside of yourself. Feeling your clothing against your body. The contact of your body against the floor or the chair. Hearing the sounds around you, the sounds outside the room and the sounds inside the room. Slowly becoming aware of the room you are in and where your body is positioned within the room. Slowly opening your eyes and just staying quiet and still, sitting or lying for a few moments as you become more aware of your surroundings. The goodness in me recognizes the goodness in you. Namaste. So that concludes our session for today. I'd just like to thank everybody for joining in. I hope that you have enjoyed the session. 
Um, I will be offering a discount on the crystal candles if anybody would like to get a candle. If you enter the coupon code ALUMNI15, from now until Sunday night, you'll be able to get 15% off crystal candles. And the website's just crystal.com.au. If anybody has any questions or comments, please feel, feel, uh, feel free to pop those in now and I'll have a read through and answer those for you. Otherwise, if you will be leaving us shortly, I wish you all the best for the rest of your day and take your playful self with you. Thank you.